So going to discuss the much anticipated release of the Ping 430 LST Fairway. Uh, we've only recently got this into the studio, um, having the Max and the SFT at the beginning of the year. Uh, this one's followed on. It's been something which, having had the LST and the 425, um, was, we knew was coming. It was just a case of when. Although this one's a little bit more different with the 425 head. Yes, the weight was a bit further forward to get spin down, but it wasn't a particularly different construction. Whereas with the, uh, the 430 LST, it's a completely different head. So what they've done differently on this one is uh, a titanium construction. So it's a beta titanium face. Uh, that's designed for you know, to go thinner, a little bit more strength, but also and that helps a bit of ball speed. Um, but it's a complete titanium construction apart from the carbon fly crown. So what that, what that means from the player's point of view is that uh, the carbon fly and the crown, that's a complete wraparound like they did with the LST driver, um, is that that reduces weight in the top, allows the center of gravity to move lower. Uh, the titanium versus steel is lighter, stronger and lighter, so again, thinner walls, stronger frame, uh, so energy going back into the ball in principle for ball speed. But what it allows them to do is remove weight from bits of the head that they don't want weight to be in. So in this particular head, I'll show you the pattern on the bottom, you can see that badge on the bottom here. That is an 80 gram tungsten weight. So that is putting weight as low, low in the head as possible to get the center of gravity down, which helps collect the ball and get a bit of flight but also positions it for, you know, as Ping say, st um, stability and forgiveness, but low spin. So the low CG helps get spin down, um, but low and back gives forgiveness. So the principle of this head is maximum ball speed, low spin, maximum distance. Um, Rumour has it that this uh, has been kind of developed based on another company doing a titanium uh, heavyweight sole, titanium frame, carbon crown, low spin, lots of ball speed. So um, it's alleged that this has been brought about really to get these out of their tour player's hands. Um, but, so what we're going to do is compare the performance, talk about what's different with this one, and, uh, and see how they compare. So I'm going to start off with the, with the Stealth 2. Uh, this is a head that from the previous model, Stealth Titanium, um, there wasn't that adjustable weight front and back, but it was still a, a low spin, strong hitting head. And something very, very popular with players on tour. Um, so I've got this in the shaft that I use in my fairway wood. Just going to get a couple of shots with this, switch over to the ping and, uh, and get a comparison. So use this as a, as a benchmark. So a very solid feeling head. Um, the one thing I think that we've noticed, you know, that weight on this head, moving it front and back really does affect the spin. You really can move the spin up and down. I've got it currently in the middle position. So it's, that one's a little bit fady and spun up a little bit. I'll give it one more hit. Oh, solid strike. So see there, a little bit, a little bit more toe side, spins come right down. So I think the thing with the Stealth 2 Titanium is across the face, I would say that's where it's not necessarily the most forgiving head in the world, um, but you really can get the spin dial down and get a strong performance out of it. But like that one, a little bit off center, ball speed's dropped off a little bit, but the spin's dropped, so it's kept going forwards. So really quite a, quite a hot running flight. Very kind of solid feeling head. It's a traditional kind of sound out of it. Um, the, Ping LST is a little bit different. I'll get this screwed in. I think this is a head that Ping traditionally haven't really done with their fairway woods. They've been more about you know, shallower face, uh, getting the ball flighted, more of a moderate spin. They've never been a particularly low spin head. They've historically with the 410, even 425, their base lofts have been a little bit lower. So in the max, a uh, 14 and a half base loft. So it was never a high launching head, but pretty, pretty consistent, pretty forgiving. And um, this one's a little, a little bit deeper than the 430 standard, very slightly, but because of the amount of weight movement, they haven't had to go deep faced to get that center gravity shifted within the head. So what will certainly notice is a bit of a different sound. I'll just toggle the data. A um, bit of a different sound to the TaylorMade, um, but certainly relative to the Max model, uh, it's really quite a different flight performance. So. Yeah, standard ping, the visuals, the markings on the face stay the same, so there's no change there. Uh, it's, again, from the top, you wouldn't necessarily know you're playing a, a different head. Very, very similar visual, sits down to the ground nicely. Yeah. 
you know, a bit of a higher pitch note than the TaylorMade, a more hollow kind of sound to it. Uh, and so what we can see there is higher launch. So it's pick the launch angle up a little bit, but also, and this is you know, part of the MO for this head, low spin. So very strong from a flight point of view. I'm just gonna do one more there. Got that a little bit heavy, so it's not gonna to do too much justice. But it's, it's quite a different, I think we're, it's quite a different sound because of the materials. I'll do one more just to give it a fair, fair trial. But I think where the 425 was critiqued quite rightly for the sound, a little bit of a louder note, because of the materials and the construction, this goes back a little bit towards that. So it might be a head that, uh, it's certainly a head that you notice the differential in sound off. So it feels a pretty forgiving, very stable head. So you don't really notice any twisting on it. But that one there, very low spin down at 1800. So this is very much a, well, if you're very, very high spin player, a good head. It doesn't knock launch angle down, but it is taking the spin down quite a lot. Um, you know, potentially even stronger. I think if we shove the weight forward on the Stealth 2, it's gonna match it pretty well. But I think with this head, there is that little bit more forgiveness to it. I think this is really, really gonna be geared to players who wanna play some more as a teeing off club. I can see this being much more useful as a two wood, almost loft, they're only doing a 15 degree in it, lofting it down to a 14, 13 and a half degree head um, with the pink sleeves, you can get it down pretty much close to that degree and a half and using it as, as an off the tee option to just get it going. If you're not a particularly comfortable driver of the ball, this is a very, very strong option as a two wood. So you know, certainly been something which they've been waiting for a little while and um, performance wise across the face looks pretty good. Certainly the, the spin, you don't really get any flares up, but you can, if you get this a little above center, a little toe side, this could really knuckle some spin off, but that's what it's designed for. So don't go thinking this can be a head you're gonna float into a green. This is an absolute cannon from a spin point of view. So you're certainly something which has done the job, that very, very heavy sole, very light crown, titanium construct construction, lots of distance, lots of speed. Uh, the flip to that is, Lots of cost. This is a head because of the materials and the construction is a very dear product. It's almost as much, pretty much as much as their drivers. So um, this, as a, as a fairway wood, is around about another 100, maybe worth about 130, 140 pounds dearer than the Stealth 2 Titanium, which is already a pretty dear fairway wood head as well. So it is a, a very strongly priced product. Ping themselves have said they're not expecting to be a volume product, but for someone who wants a very specific job out of really does that well. So you know, for someone looking for this out of a pin club, uh, you can, you're not gonna, not gonna hit many fairways further than this, um, but uh, very, very low spin. So I wouldn't go so far as saying one dimensional, forgiving launches a bit, um, but definitely for those wanting a strong flight out of it.